Some are creepy, some are adorable, some are downright unidentifiable. Either way, all life is birthed and developed in their own way, allowing them to survive the conditions of life in the best way they can. Uh, in the hippo house at ZSO Witch Plain Sea, where you can find our newest edition. From helpless, furless newborns that rely on their mother for years, to babies armored and ready to challenge the world from day one, here are what 15 newborn animals look like. <laughs> Number 15. Newborn Panda Sometimes, newborns look as though they belong on another planet. Often, they don't resemble their kind until a few months in. Take the panda, for instance, who's famous for his adorable looks and laid-back demeanor. If you've never seen a newborn, you might imagine something soft, furry, and cuddly, and nothing short of adorable. Though that does eventually become the case, newborns are born hairless and pink, and that's only how they look. Some animals pop out ready to challenge the world. The panda newborn is one of the few needy offspring that rely on their parents for everything. A baby panda comes into the world relying on mama for food, warmth, and protection. It isn't until about three months when they even learn how to crawl. That's a remarkable feat in the wild. Panda newborns are notoriously fragile, and the cub's survival is far from assured. Even from birth, they have a hard, rough road ahead of them. Giant pandas are extremely endangered. Aside from habitat loss and environmental challenges, newborns risk being accidentally crushed by their mother or developing sickness. It may make you rethink how you feel about their laid-back demeanor with all this knowledge. After all they've been through, I can't believe they aren't more vicious. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14 baby green sea turtle. Whereas the panda comes out helpless, the green sea turtle comes out armored, hungry, and ready for action. Though they're still tiny and far from safe, turtles are among the most capable at birth. They can begin eating small insects and leaves immediately and usually follow their mother on land and through the water. It's amazing what these little guys come out into the world already knowing. Imagine if humans entered the world with this ability to walk, a scary thought for some parents. Maybe there's a reason behind all that. Just goes to show that baby animals with fur aren't the only cute ones out there. These baby turtles are maybe even more adorable. Even if you aren't into reptiles, like me, you can't deny the cuteness in this little guy cracking and crawling out of his shell as best he can. Number 13. Adorable Baby Chameleon Reptiles are throwing me the curveball today. They're taking the lead on most adorable newborns. Check out this little guy for yourself. It doesn't get much cuter than holding a tiny chameleon on your finger. Tiny body, large character. Just look at those big eyes and childish smile. If you've never seen one before, you're missing out. These lovable little creatures are notoriously difficult to maintain as newborns. They require a stringent and precise set of necessities. They're considered insectivores, so a heaping load of insects to eat is step one. The second, most challenging aspect is the precise temperature it needs. If this precise temp isn't met, you needy little newborns won't eat. Depending on the time of day, that temperature has to change. During the day or basking hours, the temp needs to be precisely between 90 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. At night, a cool 70 to 75 degrees. As you can imagine, it could prove quite tricky juggling the temperatures. They do make smart devices to aid in this endeavor, but timing is often based on how the baby behaves, not on the day's time. Like a newborn human, its timing changes rapidly as it ages, and a close eye is required to keep them alive. Keep this in mind before you go diving into being a chameleon parent. Number 12. Extraordinary Snow Leopard Cubs Alright, it was only a matter of time before we scratched the cute and cuddly itch, and I think we've had you wait long enough. Not only are we bringing to you cubs, but some of the cutest and rarest cubs on the planet. It's already notoriously difficult to find a snow leopard in the wild. As you might imagine, it's even more challenging to find their den or the cubs. To see these cubs is truly something extraordinary, so soak it up. There are less than 7,000 snow leopards left globally, and only 2,700 can be found in the wild. That number dwindles every year, which means every year that goes by, sightings and photo ops like this are becoming increasingly more rare. 
Since snow leopards are so rare, not much is known about them in the scientific community, and there are a handful of pictures of them in the wild. Well, they've been documented and studied since 1775. It wasn't until sometime in the 1970s that one was photo captured. Can you believe that? As much as I want to dish out many facts to you about these beautiful creatures, there just isn't much to go around. I'll tell you that the one fact that we do know, they're more closely related to the tiger than they are the leopard. They were named leopard simply because of their similar patterns of fur. Number 11. Speedy Baby Zebras Remember how we talked about some animals being born with much more capability than others? The zebra is one animal that's born with remarkable capability right out the gate. A zebra is born with camouflage stripes, immediate mobility, and a mother's survival lesson starting on day one. Despite these benefits, predation and extinction hover above the species. More than ever, the birth of a baby zebra is something to marvel at and celebrate. Two of the three species of zebra are on the critically endangered list. One thing is for sure, a mother zebra can't teach her young about habitat loss and poaching. That, unfortunately, is where humans have to step in and figure out a way around it that doesn't include models such as a bigger, faster, or cheaper one. Us humans have to understand that coexisting is the only survivable way forward. Number 10. Baby Tree Kangaroo Baby tree kangaroos are absolutely adorable. They're also born in a rather remarkable set of events. After birth, the fetus-like young, called a joey, crawls to a threat inside the mother's pouch, where it will then snuggle up and attach itself in for nursing. From there, the majority of the infant's development occurs, remaining in the pouch with his mother for nearly 10 months. That isn't to say he doesn't poke his head out every once in a while to say hello or to just be adorable, but his feet never hit the ground until 10 months. During this time, the mother will clean her pouch and groom the infant. The display is rather cute. After the infant first leaves the pouch, it does continue to return to the pouch to feed until it reaches about one year old. After a little more aging and lessons from the mother, the once baby kangaroo is set to go off and claim a piece of the world for themselves and their future offspring. Number 9. Tiny Baby Hippo Baby hippos are some of the strangest looking, most adorable little creatures out there. By little, we are of course comparing them to their full-size counterparts. Newborn hippos still weigh a whopping 100 pounds. I know it's hard to tell that in the video. In fact, when considering adult hippos are the second largest land mammal after elephants and weigh up to 3,000 pounds, that seems minuscule. Hippos spend a total of 16 hours a day underwater, so the babies have to be able to suckle submerged. To accomplish this, newborn hippos conceal their ears and their nostrils so that they can get milk without breathing or sucking in the water. These babies can do what humans have continually failed to accomplish through technology as if it were as easy as blinking their eyelids. For about a year, hippos will remain under the mother's care where they learn, play, and feed. If you wanted to feast your eyes on the adorable baby pygmy hippo, which is born at around 14 to 20 pounds, we got you covered too. Here's some footage of the mini hippos as they bob along the water. It might be one of the cutest things I've ever seen. Number 8. Quick Learning Serval Servals are incredible cats. However, when they're kittens, they play much like you'd expect from any other feline species. They live in a den made of tall, thick grass. The mother leaves her kittens most of the day while she hunts, only returning at night to rest or when she's scored a meal. At about one month of age, the mother starts to bring food back to the den for her cubs. A few months later and the growing cubs are hunting alongside her. Adult servals weigh between 20 and 40 pounds. These medium-sized, extremely sleek cats have the longest legs relative to the body of any other feline, not to mention their ears, which help them to locate prey at extraordinary distances with scary geographical precision. There's a reason for those long legs, and it falls in line with their favorite habitat, tall brush. Long legs give them an advantage when tracking small animals, birds, frogs, and reptiles that find themselves hiding in the grass. Once prey is within reach, servals can leap more than six feet up and 10 feet forward to pounce on prey with lightning strike suddenness. A quick bite to the animal's head or neck delivers the fatal blow. They're deadly, precise, and accurate resembling a snake strike. Number 7. Dumbo Octopus Yeah, these octopuses are named after Disney's rendition of the classic tale Dumbo. 
For many years, experts have been trying to observe and get footage of the birth of a newborn. For years, they were fully thinking the wrong way all along. Turns out the Dumbo octopuses are born fully formed. Yeah, that's right. Experts couldn't tell the difference between a 15-year-old one and a newborn. Experts' understanding of the Dumbo octopus is relatively limited. Still, the new study sheds some light on the first observations of Dumbo octopus hatchlings. The most shocking of them all are those Dumbo octopuses near identical to their adult counterparts. Scientists had been looking at the wrong tails all along. That means those octopuses come equipped with those massive fins. Number 6. Lazy Baby Pangolin Pangolins are incredible creatures and are often referred to as armored anteaters. The description is fitting, but the cuteness is not. Despite its incredible and detailed set of layered armor tiles, it still manages to give off the cute and cuddly vibe, something few animals without fur can manage to elicit, especially as adults. At birth, pangolins weigh from 80 to 450 grams, and the average length is 150 millimeters. At the time of birth, the scales are soft and gray. After several days, they harden and darken to resemble the iconic look of an adult pangolin. During the stage where it's most vulnerable, when its armor is soft, the mother stays with her offspring in the burrow, nursing it, and wraps her body around it in the moment she senses danger. While moving about and looking for food, the young cling to the mother's tail. After about two to four weeks of life, in about one month, the mother has had her fill and begins the weaning process because they're relatively solitary in nature and the babies won't return to the mother. They'll only seek out a mate when the time is right. Number 5 cute baby hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are already adorable, but these newborns take the species to a whole new level. Hedgehogs give birth in June and July and the average litter size of four or five young. Unfortunately, they usually only wean two or three successfully. The mother is likely to desert or even eat hoglets if she's too far disturbed with her parental duties. Harsh, but true. Sometimes she'll physically carry them in her mouth to a new location and leave them there to make it independently. Hint, hint, they don't often survive. Young hedgehogs will leave the nest when they're around three to four weeks old to go on foraging trips with their mother, so the weaning process is already soon after birth. After around 10 days of foraging with their mother, it's time for the young to spread their wings and be free. They'll wander off on their own. Fun fact, baby hedgehogs are called hoglets. Number four. White Bambi. I cannot believe my eyes. It's how the sighting and photographs have been described. These amazing pictures of an incredibly rare baby albino deer dubbed White Bambi hiding with its mother in the Italian wilderness are indeed one of a kind. You may never see an animal like this again in your lifetime. And I'm talking about the photo, not the real thing. You'd have a better chance at winning the lottery three times over than seeing one of these babies in the wild. If I was the photographer, my first stop on the way home would be to a gas station for that lottery ticket. Who knows, the photo itself may be his lottery ticket. This little fawn, thought to be only eight months old, was sighted in the woods by random woodwalkers. Luckily, they had cameras ready. It sure would have been a shame to miss out on this photo op. Think about it, all the times in the past where someone said, darn, I wish I had a camera, and puts things into perspective. Number three, baby taper. These adorable little baby tapers have to be observed to be understood. They have distinct coats when they first are born, made up of a series of spots and stripes to help camouflage them on Southeast Asia's forest floors. This pattern will change over the first few months to the iconic shimmering black and white parents' patterns. Guided by the incredible senses of their nose, these little guys take in the world along with their parents' vital life lessons. I'm also saddened to say that half the world's Malayan tapers have been lost in the last 40 years. Fewer than 2,000 are estimated to remain across Malaysia, Thailand, and Myanmar. They're on the critically endangered list, so hunting them is illegal. Once again, another animal is confused about its relation to the anteater, but in actuality, the Malayan taper is closer related to a horse and a rhinoceros than it is an anteater. Because of their terrible eyesight, even as adults, they rely on their incredible sense of smell that rivals even the most capable schnoz on the planet. Number 2. Adorable Baby Sugar Gliders Sugar glider females give birth to one or two joeys per litter. Like other marsupials after birth, the 0.2 gram wang joey will crawl into their mother's pouch, where they'll remain until further developed. 
They're born underdeveloped and furless, with only the smell being developed. They nurse from their mother directly in the pouch, just like kangaroos. For 60 days, the babies will remain in the mother's pouch, which after that, they'll leave at around day 110. At this time, the young are on the road to being weaned. Sugar gliders are extremely social creatures, so even when fully developed and it's to go off on their own, they don't often travel far, if even to a different tree. Since it's in their name, you might assume these adorable creatures can glide, and you'd be right. It might take some practice for the babies to gather that kind of strength, but it's only a matter of time, and the sugar glider is one of the several gliding possums in Australia. It glides by launching itself from a tree and spreading its limbs to expose gliding membranes stretched between. While in the air, they have some extraordinary control of the glide, and they can speed up, turn in all directions, and even break. Number 1. Baby Emperor Penguins Penguins are cute all the way around. Doesn't matter if they're a newborn or the flock's patriarch. There's something adorable about penguins, even in their walk. You want to talk baby penguins? Get out of here. Cuteness overload. The nominees for best dad must indeed include emperor penguins who go to extraordinary lengths for their offspring. During winter on Earth's coldest continent, Antarctica, emperor penguin males gather in colonies. They're tightly huddled together to stay warm in temperatures that could dip to extreme lows, as terrible as negative 40 degrees, with whipping winds gusting at more than 90 miles per hour. These champion dads will each incubate a single egg that holds his offspring for the next two months. Even when born, the dads are responsible for the upbringing up until a certain age. When emperor penguin chicks are born, they lack their waterproof coat, so they still rely on mom and dad for feeding until maturity. While dad is taking care of the baby, mom was off gathering food. When she returns to the colony, she takes over caring for the chick during the summer months while the dad, having not eaten for about 120 days, heads to the ocean to binge on fish for the next few days. Hey, who could blame him? It's fascinating exploring all the different types of methods and births in the animal kingdom. From helpless calf to more than capable armored fortress, we saw newborns of all types. It's essential to try and find the golden nugget of learning from all of them. Sure, you might disagree with the parenting method, but there's undoubtedly some honest truth to learn from it all. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.